the five items were one. Good morning, good morning YouTube. How's it going? Beautiful morning today. I want to talk about seven unexpected costs when purchasing the DJI Spark. Well, I've owned the Spark for about more than four months. I see July, September, October. I've owned the Spark for about five months. Let's just dive into it. It's kind of shocking like what you have to purchase for a beginner drone what you think would be included. Holidays are coming around or somebody's birthday and you know they're they're wanting to get a drone. As always I'm gonna advocate get a toy first something less than a hundred dollars uh, that they can play and crash. I don't think the DJI Spark should be their first drone but if you do get them just keep in mind their purchasing is not gonna be complete. You may want to think about it. Uh, I do recommend some of these items as it would make their flying experience much more pleasurable as well as longer last. So number five, skip just getting the drone itself and get the Fly More Packet. It may seem cheap just to get the drone itself, but in, on, in all honesty, you want to be able to grow with the drone. I'm just going to say buy the Fly More Packet. You get a multiple battery charger, you get an extra battery, extra props, a couple more items with it. I'll list the items below that you get with it. It's worth it. That way you have multi-use of the drone and you can grow with the drone. I've advocated that this drone is more than just a beginner cine drone, meaning you can actually get some decent to good cinematic shots with it. But also, it has a sports mode. So it, if you're thinking of wanting to, you know, eventually become a, a pod racer or a drone racer, it can go up to 30 miles an hour. And not to mention, when getting into the hobby, you, you really want precision. So that's what the remote will help you get. Having the remote as well extends the range from, I think it's only 100 meters if you're using it as your cell phone. You know, the remote, you can fly it up to a mile. That's insane for this size drone. That was number five. Number four, you should think about getting extra batteries. You should at least have three batteries. I would recommend you know running your battery to, to about 30% and then coming back. You definitely don't want to drop below 20%. You should at least have three batteries. Why? Because the first battery you can use for scouting, the second battery, you're just getting into it, uh, having fun out there. And then the third battery is like uh, free for all, I should say just depending how you use it. 10 minute battery life, if you go on a hike or whatnot, you definitely wanna have extra batteries. If, if I could afford them, I would have five batteries. And they're they're relatively okay, you know, $50 a piece, but for a max of maybe 12 minutes while you're flying. You get the Fly More Packet, it can charge up to three batteries at one time, which makes it pretty awesome. It's pretty fast charge, so 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Item number three, a remote stick protector. When you get the remote in general, uh, people forget that this is a really sensitive, pretty high-tech machine and you need to protect it. You know, the sticks are what control it and it gives you that precision. The, the Fly More Pack is a soft pack. It's decent for what it can hold, but definitely it lacks that um, finesse when it comes to like protecting your gear. I would highly recommend getting one of these uh, stick protectors. They're relatively cheap. What it does is stop the remote sticks from moving around. Not only that, it's like, let's say you threw it into like a bigger backpack or something. You don't have to worry about the, the sticks being broken off just because it'll help protect that. Item number two was really a surprise to me. One thing you really want to purchase for the DJI Spark, lens, gimbal, front sensor, protector. I don't know why DJI didn't uh, include this. It's in their other lineups. The Phantom came with a clip. The Mavic had two clips, uh, a clip and a lens cover separate. But the Spark, I don't, I don't know if they think it's a beginner drone, it's just a two axis gimbal. Without your gimbal, you're pretty much shot, right? You pretty much have just a really expensive headless drone and there's no other way to mount another camera on it. So, you know, you definitely want to, I mean, that is the quote unquote money maker of this, of this device. I think the camera works pretty decent for both photos and video, but you know, if you don't protect it, then you just shove it into your bag. It is, this device itself is pretty durable, but you, uh, you want to protect the most fragile part, which is uh, the gimbal. You can see it kind of, it's kind of flimsy. It moves up and down to, you know, for the shock mount and all that stuff. You know, the bag itself, it floats on top. So if you accidentally put it upside down, then, you know, you risk damaging it, shoving it into your bag and stuff like that. So for sure, you want one of these, you know, protect, protect your assets. This is not a cheap drone. When it's all said and done, you're paying, what is it? I think it's $800 for everything. And finally, number five, is the OTG cable. You can connect via Wi-Fi, uh, your cell phone. The cell phone will connect to the remote if you have it, but at the same time, 
please do consider getting an OTG cable. I found reviews that the OTG cable actually improves not only the latency when connecting to the remote so you can visually see it it's a lot quicker but also it improves the stability of the dji app i have not had the app crash as much when when i'm connecting via usb cable you know if you really wanted to download the pictures and the video that you wanted quickly it does improve that quite a bit so hopefully you guys learned something today i'm not i'm not trying to trash dji or anything like that i love the drone but there's five unexpected costs when purchasing it uh, especially if you're going to give begin it as a gift um, you may want to give them the heads up that you may need this to you know prolong or grow with the drone the five items were definitely get the fly more packet more batteries at least three uh, remote stick protector gimbal lens sensor lock protectors and number one the otg cable those are the five items i do recommend i didn't even go into miscellaneous items that you may want to think about a sunshade an extra battery charger oh another one is a range extender so again those are those are two couple other items that you might want to add to your list leave a comment below if i missed anything uh, i'd love to know you guys input on what what the what you had to buy for the device what uh, what you would recommend I'd love to know and maybe it might help me if you like this video give me a thumbs up I greatly appreciate it I love the feedback that you guys are giving me all my subscribers viewers thank you guys for tuning in I do appreciate the time you guys spending watching my videos thank you thank you thank you can't thank you more than enough for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing uh, where I share my experiences with the DJI spark drones and technology I think I've just rambled long enough it's a really beautiful day I'm gonna go flying I'm gonna end it right here so thank you guys for tuning in fly safe be safe mahalo plenty yes today hey guys so today i want to talk about seven unexpected costs guys so today what i want to talk about is five uh, um uh, you know a drone uh especially some, uh, if you get um, um the kit or an automatically All right, skip. It is a beginner drone. Uh, we call it beginner racer drone because most are just a. Um, <laughs> I'm it inside another uh, remote control, um, another bag or something. I don't know if they're app functions like the uh, the. For you old subscribers, thank you for tuning in every. And let's see. Hmm. And uh, I think I just start. I'm, I think I've just rambled long enough. I, I, I,